Hi. Hello. Hey, Kristen. It's good to see you again. You too. Well, you know what we did? We came in, you gave us a tour of the location, you told us about all the claims that are going on here. And there were a few little things that started off. A couple of our investigators, uh, Dustin, had an experience in your office early in the night where he saw what he believed to be some sort of like a white figure, and it was gone really quick. And then after that, things really started kicking off. Activity yeah. started going crazy. Yeah, uh, we had some really cool personal experiences uh, from hearing sounds we couldn't explain, following footsteps and, and doors opening and closing. And uh, Sherry, one of our investigators, something actually grabbed her shoulder. Grabbed her shoulder, and, and that was pretty exciting for her. It's amazing. All right, so this first piece we're going to show you, two of our investigators, uh, Samantha, my daughter, and Sherry, were investigating. And upon reviewing it, they thought they, they heard what sounded like a voice uh, saying something. Yeah. yeah. You know, the investigators, they kind of, when they analyzed it, thought that it was saying hello, perhaps. What? I just, you know, got little sweaty palms. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next piece we'd like to show you, Jason and I, we were investigating on the second floor, and uh, it was just these sounds of us hearing the footsteps and hearing doors open and close and us really uh, running up and down the stairs trying to find out exactly which door it is, which uh, it always seemed to be sort of uh, playing with us a, a bit. So uh, this is just one of those uh, circumstances. You know, because it wasn't very impactful. It was like a soft close, but a definite door closing. Movement. Footsteps. So we went upstairs, we started looking around. While we were up there, we started hearing what sounded like doors closing and somebody running up and down the hallway on the second floor. So of course, we headed back down there to, to look and try to see what that was. It's almost like something's messing with us. But now watch, watch what goes on here. We go back down to the second floor and we start heading down the hallway. Yeah. That was the door behind me. Just that close behind you. And Steve was 20 feet past the door when it started creaking and slammed shut. Yeah. And when we went to it, it was closed. Like it was closed, slammed shut, can't open it, the whole thing. You know, our cameraman's in between us, so I, you know, he, he didn't get stuck on anything. And we looked at that video you gave us, and you know, initially when we were looking at it, we're thinking, all right, well, it's just dust kicking up, no biggie. But then all of a sudden, where the dust looked like it was just falling, then it was actually being moved as if something was, was going by the camera, because all of a sudden the dust was kicking up and, and following mm -hmm. a path, yeah. which uh, was definitely a weird, a weird thing to see. All of the floating things, what looks like orbs, that kind of stuff, it's mm -hmm. just dust. But uh, what would just start kicking up all that dust in, in a really, you know, uh, central location like that is what has us sort of scratching our heads about your video there. Is it Lou? Is it something related to him? Anything to do with his vehicle being moved? And uh, to be honest, we didn't see any direct connection uh, to Lou. Uh, during our investigation, you know, we didn't get any more activity when we brought up his name, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't mean that it, it couldn't be him. But there was definitely something going on that night. So I do have to say, I, I believe something to be here. I think Steve would agree with that. To I who, do. who it is, no idea. Is it threatening? No, it, it almost appears more playful than anything. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely interested. I can tell you that much. It's yeah. moving all around. This has been great. Thank okay. you so much oh, no, for inviting us. I so and... really appreciate you guys coming out and taking the time. Well, if activity picks up again, let us know. I'd love to come back. I really would. So don't ever hesitate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So Thank, you. Thank you so we'll much. Get out of here. Gray's Armory called in TAPS to try and find out why we seem to have such a spike in the activity in the last few years. We are worried if it was because there are now women that have been voted in and a changing of the guard, if you will. And we also wondered if it was actually Lou. The fact that a spirit was playing with the investigators would make me think that it's just a, a friendly spirit that just wants to be known. What's that? Jared? What is it that you want? Are you here? Can you let us know who you are? Will you come talk to us?